Hi fashion designer, welcome to my channel. Today I thought of sharing a bra pattern which is one of my favorite because it gives good support and bust coverage. So if you've been looking for something like that, this tutorial is definitely for you. But before we get started, please do not forget to give this tutorial a good thumbs up. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. So I'm going to start by marking a quarter of my bust round circumference and it's actually 22 centimeters. So I'm going to create a square of around 22 cm by 22 cm. Then the next thing is to divide this square into four equal parts, which is going to be 11 and a half cm. The next thing you want to label your square A, B, C and D. Now from the top I am going to mark from the B point I'm going to go in by 3 cm and then next to the 3 cm mark I'm going to mark uh, 1 cm. And now from the 3 cm mark I'm going to create an armhole and I'm going to use a curved line to connect it to that center line. Now from the center front line this is going to be your neckline. I'm going to drop this by 1 cm and that's how low I want my neckline to be. And from the center front line also I'm going to go down by 7 cm. You can go as low as you want or high as you want but take note of the coverage that you prefer onto your bust. Then I'm going to connect this line all the way to the 1 cm point right on top. For the bottom, I'm going to mark 3 cm for both sides so that we can create some dots. Now right on the front uh, line, I'm going to go down by 1 cm and then now create a dot by connecting these three points. Now to shape the cups on the D point, I am going to go in by 3 cm and also on the C uh, point, I'm going to go in by 3 cm and then go ahead and curve this line or blend this line to the dots. So once you're done creating your cup, it's time for us to create the cradle. Now for the frame or cradle right on the outside of the square shape, I'm going to mark uh, 1 cm next to the cup. I'm going to go out by 1 cm and extend the line all the way to the D point. So from that line at the bottom, which is the D line, I am going to go down by 2 cm and this is to create the elastic casing. So this is 2 cm and I'm going to extend this line all the way to C. Now once you are done, don't forget to extend the dots to the cradle. Right on the side, we want to go ahead now and mark 2 cm, right? From the bottom, I'm going to mark 2 cm. Then I am going to extend this line by uh, 10.5 cm. Now this 10.5, it depends how wide you want your band to be. Okay, it determines the width of the band. So I'm going to make it 10.5 cm. You can make it as high as 11. I think that's the, that's how high it can go if you want it, if you want your band to be wide. Or you can make it around 5 cm. But I'm going to make it 10 cm because I want my band to be wide. So from that point now, I'm going to blend this with the armhole. 
So guys, moving on to drafting the band. My band is going to be 18 centimeter long. So all band sizes differ based on the bust measurement. So I will post a link down in the description and it will show it has a tutorial on how to calculate your band size. So if you want to know how to calculate band size, go ahead and check it out. So mine is 18 cm. And now the width of my band, I am going to make it around 5 cm. And also this depends on your hook and eye. And then once I'm done drafting the band, I'm going to go ahead and blend it on the um, hole. Now your pattern is complete. So the only thing we need to do is to cut it out and add seam allowance. Now, once you are done cutting out your pattern, you want to go ahead and close the dot on the cradle. Now, also on the cup, you want to go ahead and just cut out the dot. And once it's complete, this is how it will look because we're going to join it together like so. Now, let's go ahead and add a seam allowance on our pattern. Now, any seam allowance depends on the elastic you're going to be using. So on the neckline, if you're going to be using a picket elastic like this one, it is a must for you to add a 0 0.5 seam allowance because you will need to flip it in as you sew. Also around the armhole, you will need to add seam allowance because we're going to sew it the same way on, like we did on the neckline. But if you're going to be using a fold over elastic like this one over here, you won't need to add seam allowance because it doesn't take much. You just have to fold it and sew it. And also on the band, you need to add seam allowance if you're using a picot elastic. As you can see, I've added seam allowance on the side to join it with the cradle. And also around the cup, I've added 0 0.5 seam allowance. But if you're using a fold over elastic, now there is a huge difference. So if you're using a fold over elastic, you will only need to add a seam allowance right on the side for the cradle and also for the band to join the two together. Then you will also need to add seam allowance right inside of the cup and also on the cradle to join the cup and the cradle together. Now, if so, if you want more support on your cups and you have a four way stretch lace material, this is how you should cut your fabric. So you're going to cut one layer with a stretch going up and down and another layer with a stretch going sideways. Place them together like so and doing this, it will give support on your cups because as you can see, it actually provides support and stability. So you want to go ahead now, once you've placed your fabric like this, you want to go ahead and take your cup and place it on top of the fabric like so and cut out the cups and you want to do the same thing also with the cradle but for the band make sure that the stretch goes around your body and cut out the band so i went ahead and i cut the cups including the cradle on fabric so stay tuned for part two where i'm going to share with you how to construct this bra together i hope you enjoyed drafting this pattern as much as i did as for me, see you on the next one.